guys, welcome back to the fourth episode of my No Meat Runoff arc, and today we have big plans. Big plans indeed. Um, we're going to start off the episode by upgrading our shack, and later we're going to get into some more taming and breeding. But before we do that, I just want to say a couple things. Really quick, rules, no carnivores, no piscivores, no omnivores. Not based off of the ARC official rules, but based on the in-game stats. If it can be tamed with meat or fish meat, is not allowed. Th those are the rules. And I can only tame herbivores and creatures that eat other um, resources. So basically, today we have big plans, but real quick. If you have not watched the first three episodes of the series, those are out. Today's like goal is two likes. But I suggest you go watch the other videos and maybe leave a like on those before you watch this one. So let's get into it. Um, we got our dinosaurs. Just realized, popping. That doesn't really make sense. I think I meant to put pooping. Because that's what these two are used for. But um, I'll fix that later. Um, last episode, we teamed Ivory, the Iguanon. Really handy. Still healing up from the previous battles, and we got Mike, our trike, the Rex Slayer. Mike is honestly insane. Maybe even our most powerful dinosaur. Pretty sure he's our most powerful. We also still have Tane. Tane hasn't been used much because she's kind of a low level, but today, if you remember our last episode, we found a level, I think, 85 or 95 female Guanadon. And if we could get that and start breeding with Ivory, kind of want to start. We can't really have a hunting pack with any carnivores because they're not allowed. So maybe in a guanodon hunting pack. I know it sounds weird, but we're going to need to be able to take down things like alphas and bigger creatures. And the guanodons aren't too bad. I mean, pretty good. And we have all this metal from last episode that I completely forgot to put into the smithy or the forges, which we will do. I am recording this pretty... Um, pretty soon after your last episode was finished, but I have put away all my loot, put away everything, and we also got this cool torch last episode. We got a blueprint for it, but like I said, first thing we're going to do is upgrade this base. We've had this 3x2 thatch hut for so long, and it's so hard to get into, but I think it's time we upgrade the wood. We'll basically, I think the plan is we get a dodic and then we move bases, but for now we can upgrade it to a 3x3 three three and make it too high and get some storage boxes and make it all wood because that Bronto, I don't know if I told you guys, but he's in the water over here. I let him in there in between. I didn't get it on video, but there he is. I let him in there with one of my teams. Pretty sure is Ivory. But, mm, he hit, he managed to hit most of the foundations, so everything's pretty damaged. So we can upgrade to wood, get a bit more defended, and I'm going to do a quick time lapse, speed it up. So for you guys, it'll be a matter of seconds, but for me, it'll probably take maybe, I don't know, minutes. So, without further ado, let the time lapse begin. Um, a quick deforestation session later and a quick good chunk of my pickaxe and axes or my pickaxe and axes 
Yeah, it's called axe. I always get. Wait, is the actual tool called axe? I need to know now. No, it's called a hatchet. But this is called an axe. Hmm. Maybe in arc two it'll be called an axe and not a hatchet. Basically, a quick session later, and we now have a nice three by three with improved storage, more room for workstations, and a fabricator, which we will be getting pretty soon. I think Cluck's happy, right, Cluck? Yeah, you're, you're happy. Let's let's put Cluck's levels in, guys. He's been good. Now. I think the next thing on our checklist is, as it's becoming day, I say we go find that Iguanodon from last episode. If you remember, it was pretty far away, it is on the opposite side of the island that the Redwood's on. I can show you my map here. It's kind of straight ahead from where my character is looking, on that beach. But, we're gonna go there on Ivory, try and tame it, bring it back, and then we're gonna start breeding. I want to get the best stats, and then in between episodes, I might want to get some mutations, because as I said earlier, the Guandons are really fast, so they might be my main herbivore mount for when I'm just riding around until we get a flyer. But, I mean, we're level 68 from a bunch of grinding, but I don't want to get a Crystal Wyvern yet, because I know that's the only flyer we can get. But I don't, I don't want to rush it, because I feel like it'll ruin the whole point. I mean, I feel like the Crystal Wyvern's a bit eh. Like, it's supposed to be no meat, but I guess Crystal Wyverns don't need meat, so it should be fine. But we're not gonna do that now, because we don't even have Crystal. So, we could always go there to get some. But, I feel like that's GG. Really quick, let's kill this Trillobite. Let's harvest it up. I want the Chitin, most importantly, but it also gives stuff like oil and black pearls and silver pearls so we can put this all away but i am gonna want to make a nice set of chitin armor suit because i mean we're cooking up a nice amount of metal i started smelting all the metal so we're getting a good amount and then maybe we could even make flak maybe we go straight to flak i don't know it's a dangerous world out there also it was in the time lapse but i did end up adding a ramp because i remembered how annoying it was to get up here but now we just got a nice little ramp I think the fabricator will go in the back of that room, and yeah, that's the loadout for this base. But I say now it's time. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. We're gonna go on a quick little trip down. How did I get dismounted? I must have accidentally hit the wrong one. We're gonna take a quick little trip down the um, forest to get to where we need to be to tame that iguanodon. And Ivory will have a friend or a mate. I don't know. Depends on the stats. I did like the color of the other one on those. A nice bright red. Ivory is still really good, but he might need to be replaced once we start getting mutated ones. I'll try and make a pack, but I'm not going to replace Ivory until we get one that has a couple mutations on it. I'm not going to go full blown because. I don't even have cryopods, so imprinting is going to be kind of hard. But I think we should be able to get maybe some... I don't know, I'm really just hoping for maybe some health mutations. Melee would be fine. Stamina. Um, weight. Any of those are good. Movement speed, as you know. It, it'd be nice if they made some movement speed to actually raise the stat. Because if you didn't know, if you get a mutation into movement speed, it, it doesn't really count as anything. It, it's pretty useless. It is actually completely useless. Unless you purposely just want a bad dinosaur. It's horrible. So we're gonna be at the cross, uh, we gotta cross again, across, huh, I can't speak today, guys. We have to get across the swamp. But there's a car now. Um, looks like we're fighting. Let's go. On. It's not too, it's only level 15, we can take it on. Easy, and there's a Titanoboat, I don't want to fight you. Please just let me be. Ivory's healed up a good amount during that time lapse, but he's not fully healed. So, I kind of just want to speed run through the area to get to the Iguanodon. But yeah, today's main 
goals are literally just get the iguana on and maybe get an iguana on hunting pack. I don't know, we're gonna raise up some iguanons and we're gonna have a bit of fun here today. So, I do like breeding dinosaurs. It's pretty entertaining. Well, not entertaining, it's a nice way to pass the time. I like hunting for media. Oh, that's a Capra. But like I said, I like hunting for mutations and I like the different colors you can get on dinosaurs using mutations. And we need a right now, at the time I'm filming this, Valentine's Day event is well over. So this was an iguanodon that spawned during the event but has not despawned. Like this pteranodon. Those aren't natural colors. Sucks that we can't tame you. No meat run. But this channel, I'm mainly going to be doing challenge runs of ARC on different maps. The only time I'm really going to be doing regular playthroughs is if I don't have an idea and that's just what interests me at the time. Or if there's a new map like Fjorders coming out this summer. So I'm definitely going to be um, uploading my, play th my first playthrough of Fjorder onto the channel. Also, when Arc 2 comes out, as soon as... I'm gonna get it as soon as it comes out. Let's just put it that way. Oh, there's the Iguana. And the Microraptor. Help, Ivory. But yeah, as soon as Arc 2 comes out, I'm so hyped for it, man. I'm gonna... I'm gonna buy that thing as soon as it comes out. I'm gonna pre-order it. That's what I'm gonna do. I mean... Hopefully by then, I've already beaten all the Arc maps. In my free time, I do play other things besides this world. Like, I have been playing on Genesis Part 2. I beat the map when it first came out, but I was playing on... I had a PS4 then, and actually after the final boss battle, I had an army of Shadow Means, and I had a, one Rex, one Spino, and one Reaper King. But basically, after the battle, my... Um, my PS4 crashed and everything was deleted, like all the dinos and all of my levels and everything. I had to make a new character. So weird. But that sucked. So I'm trying to beat it again so I can just get it on video. But I, there's just only a couple more maps I have to beat before I'll be ready for Arc 2. Which shouldn't take too long. I'm kind of just speed running through it. Okay, that might be a problem. A Chalio. Chalio Pip Pip. That's why I like the name on Pip Pip. Come here. You gotta dive, buddy. I really should check the levels on these types of things. Or I just go ahead and fight them. Die. Die. How is this. How, how are you so tanky? You're, you're only level 80. Hey. Now we gotta bury on us. Gonna double, they're double teaming me. Go on, on, no, 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 no. Run, go on, on, run. No, no, no. Okay. I see you. I see you. Now I'm getting double teamed by Baryonyx and the Caribou. Great. Okay. Amazing. How is this guy not dead? I don't remember Baryonyx is ever from this thing. If it gets me a bit lower, I'm gonna just run away. I'll just run away right now. Wow, that is so disappointing, man. Oh, you have to poop right now. Man, that's my whole plan for the episode and everything. So it looks like we're gonna have to find a new iguana. That sucks. That's so disappointing. Oh well. That iguanodon is now dead. Surprised it didn't die earlier. The terror bird it would have killed. Then a Baryonyx had to show up. And things just didn't go well. It's not worth losing Ivory over an Iguanodon that I hadn't even tamed yet. So. Oh well. We'll find a female. Even if it isn't the best of levels. We can always breed up so we get one with the same levels as. And same stats as Ivory. Oh, oh Iguanodon. Wait, I need to see your level. And there's bugs. Bugs, really? I, I, please. Please just leave me alone. How am I not hitting you? 
don't understand. How? There. What level are you, buddy? Female? Female level 5. Huh. There's one over here. Iguanodons aren't that rare in this area of the map. In most other places, they're like uncommon. They're not parasaur. Ooh, 45. Okay. We gotta kill that raptor. He's gonna kill it. Did I not hit anything today? How are you? What? what? Either the AoE of the on the past is trash or the game is like broken. Because I'm not hitting anything. Like how that should have hit. It was right in front of me. Like I don't get it. Well, Ivory is gonna die here soon, so we definitely can't go much further. How is the bug not dead? If that Guanadon dies to the Dill, I'm going to be disappointed. Yeah, we're taming that one in the Okay, that's dead. There's some Trudons down there, and there's some ground um, ants. But after we kill these, I think the area will be pretty safe. Trudons shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I don't think they should be a problem. They only attack during the night. From what I remember. So let's go ahead and knock you out. Pretty low, so you might die, but I gotta take the risk because Ivory is gonna die, so if you don't get teamed, I don't know what I'm gonna do. One, two, three, one. It's out. I thought I heard something. It's the Trodons. They're making me on How did I get a mushroom? Hmm. Huh. If you saw where I got this mushroom from, leave it in the comments, because I don't know where I got it, but if I could find out where to get mushrooms like that, that'd be amazing. Let's collect some berries. See, look, I can barely even hit the bushes. Like, I was right in front of the bush. How, how is that not hitting it? So weird. I don't remember a bond on the tax being that small of an AoE, but maybe I just forgot. Okay, those are well, those trodons are making me uneasy. That's just it using the bathroom. Please do not turn. Is that it, Agra? It is Agra. And why? How? At least we can lead it away now. Did it hit the iguana? Probably should not check right now. Yeah, just run. Watch there be piranhas, man. My luck today. My luck today. I just need to get home where it's safe. So far, this episode has not started off too great. We lost the iguana we were gonna tame. We're not hitting anything. We're almost dead. But I have this iguana. Is it low? Oh, it got hit. Well, we already knocked it out. We might as well team it. The Trodons are down there. Okay, let's do this fast. Come on, hurry up, team. I can't wait. We just gotta go. Come on. I need it to tame. It should tame, right? Come on, once it gets to 70s. On the team tracker. There. Okay. Nice. You're teamed up. We're all happy. Now you gotta follow me. Just realized it. It's gotta be slower than me. So I might just run on these two legs to match its speed. Because it has no levels in. And I just gotta make sure it's falling. I don't even know if I can get this thing home without it dying. Where even is it? How is it already lost? Oh, it's stuck on a tree. Um, there's a dillo. Let me just kill you. I mean, the Guanons do a pretty decent amount of damage. A hundred is not bad at all. With, yeah, that's not bad at all. With the mate boost, a hundred is amazing. Oh, can I move? The only problem with the Guanons is probably the fact that you can't attack while they're in there. I just gotta hope the Iguanon gets over there. I cannot go back for that. 
Okay. Um, I cannot kill those raptors. Wow, my 166. I'm gonna have to lose them. Come on, get off my trail. And my guanon's dead. Just like that. Yep, now come. Well, um... I don't know what we're gonna do, guys. We're... We could go back and team that level 5. <laughs> Just so desperate now. It's not even funny. I guess we could just wait for Ivory to heal and then go, go back out because right now he can't do anything without dying. What level are you? You're a male level 5. I'm sorry buddy, you're just going to have to die. I just want more to spawn. Well, I'm going to keep boosting that melee at least. Great. Mm, raptors had to attack. Um, we're gonna find an Iguanodon. I still really want to breed some Iguanodons. To get an imprinted one at least. A hunting pack would be nice. Maybe just like three of them, something. Hey, those are Equuses. That's a Baryonyx. That Equus is dead, but... Equus isn't that bad of a team either, to be honest. Just if we could find one that's not anywhere close to this area, that would be nice. So as you've seen, this area is so deadly, I don't even understand. Let's run up this hill. Skirt around. Talia's may be wrong. You're a female 455? If I could get that thing to follow me. Maybe if I... I don't want the... Tr I, I need it away from the trigger. I'm gonna hit it really quick. Get to follow me. It should aggro. Yeah. That's right, buddy. Why is everything after me? What? Wait, what? I get you on this cliff, buddy. Now it's fighting. Great. Trying to help you out, air. If you die to. Okay, I got the deal for you. If that Chalio aggro is on you, though. You're dead, dude. I'm trying to kill the other deal. Well, we definitely have to wait for it to heal up if we're gonna tame it. But I know this area does usually have a lot of Iguanodon, so maybe if we could just find another one. I'll leave this one here to heal up now that we've killed most of the threats. That Chalia is gonna fight off the other ones. See? Another Iguanodon. Nice. They're giving us all the Iguanodons. They just keep dying. That's a Therizina, though. I don't want to deal with you. So I'm gonna try and get that. Um, oh, the Iguanodons over here now. There's another thing awfully close. You're a male. I don't need a male. I already got my great ivory. Is there any other Iguanodons in the area that are female, single, and need a partner? Because. Ivory is desperate, please. We need... There's another Therizino. Hmm. We're gonna run down this way. I mean, we might head back home. Ivory is healing up, though. Which is good. But I don't want Ivory... Ooh, going on nice. Oh, Carnot, please, I don't want to fight you. I do not want to fight you. Not today, please. Not right now. We'll just try and... Maybe we can try and lose them around these rocks. Guanodons are... This Guanodons is really fast. Ivory is really fast because I've leveled him a lot. Oh, that's a pack. I don't know, he has a pack boost. I can't really take him on right now. 
Okay, I am really curious what all of this are going on is. This looks like a really safe area. Please, you're a male. And you just need to start killing all the people on this. Because they are annoying. We got an explorer note here. Nice. Let's just go ahead and grab it. Over after. Diet carnivore. According to Ark, it is a carnivore. So, I think we're going to continue to level some um, movement speed until we get that to like 160. Okay, well, that Guandon's dead now, so I'm going to run around these raptors because they cannot catch me. I'm too speedy for them. Same for you, Carno. You don't stand a chance. And maybe we can go see if we can kill this Iguanodon to try and promote new spawns. Let's see. Let's see if I can kill it here. Come on. Nice. Perfect. So, let's go see if this Iguanodon's ready to be tamed. Um. Pretty, it's still pretty damaged. So you know what? I'll, I'm gonna just wait on that cliff over there, and I'm gonna wait till it's fully healed. And if anything happens, I'll bring you guys back. But besides that, I'll see you guys when this is. I'll bring you guys back when this thing's fully healed. After I kill this bug. Come on, come on. Okay, yeah, I'll bring you guys back when it's fully healed. Okay guys, I'm back, and the Iguanodon looks decently ready to be tamed, but also importantly, where did he go? I found something to tame, right here. See in the grass, that Mesopithecus? They're one of the only shoulder pets I can get on the island that I really like, and are herbivores, so I just gotta go ahead and tame this guy. I don't know when's the next chance I'm gonna find one of these and I got berries so let's go ahead and do it I'm just gonna come up here it's only level 20 so it's only gonna need one more cane or one more berry looks like it's a boy I have a lot of names ideas for this guy but I'm open to suggestions of course <laughs> And boom. How did I, I hit the berry? I'm so confused. How did it get scared? At least while we're doing this, we're giving the Guan on a chance to heal up. I, it's okay, Matha. I do want that Chalio to die. Pretty sure they're omnivores too, I'm not sure, so I can't even tame one. Looks like the Mesopithecus is still running. I want to go get it. Like I said, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get another one. So I have to get it now. But that's a Chalio. The other one's in a fight, so we might as well kill this one. The other one's too high of a level. Oh, I die. Die and dead. Dead, 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 dead. Okay, I'm gonna go tame this, so you just gotta crouch, don't let it see you, and for this one I'm only gonna have to feed it once more because of my taming settings, usually you have to feed it much more, and we'll get a name for this guy later, but for now, we will just pick him up and run, because I hear something. Oh gosh, run, 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 run. Oh no, that is not good. How did the Therizino even see me? I didn't even see it. Okay, we're just gonna try and lose it, guys. That was close. Ivory could have died. Man. We gotta, we gotta hurry up and team that Guandon, man. Okay, it looks decently ready to be teamed. Or knocked out. What? I don't like how it makes you turn on these guys. Okay. Are there back up? Okay, second so hit his head. One, two, three, four. Let's just do that. One, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This and oh, I thought I was gonna have to shoot. Good thing I counted. I could have ruined its team. Oh, I'm just gonna pop the berries in. We're gonna get back on ivory. The same thing comes to attack. Oh, it's dangerous out here, man. There's a yellow drop there. I want to see if we can get that, actually. That might be pretty interesting. But we're going to team this guy. We'll bring him back to base. And we're going to start breeding Ivory and her. are going to try and get a perfect female and a perfect male. And then using them, we're going to start breeding up um, some... Aguanodons for our Aguanodon army, which we will use to take on some things, maybe like that Therizina. Maybe we'll come back and get revenge for it almost killing us. I'm just gonna run through here, because even if the Therizina does see me, we're much faster than it. So, we're just gonna run around. Oh, that was a lag spike. It looks like it hasn't even landed yet. Oh, great. Why, why are you running? Why? You're, you're a raptor. Attack! Fight! What are you doing? That was dumb. Why did he not attack? He just stood there. Okay, that light's pretty blinding. We're gonna get away from there. Um, we're just gonna wait for it to come down. But uh, let's see how quickly. Oh, the Iguanon's on sting. We might have to leave this. I don't. I don't really care about the drop as much as getting home. So we're just gonna grab this guy. And Make a run for it. Let's see. I'm just gonna sprint over here. If there's anything in the area, I kinda wanna fight it, because I don't want this guy to die. But luckily we're getting pretty much healed just passively, which is always good, but just realize you need some food. Let's harvest up some berries. That's good. Plus we're gonna oh there our guanodon is tank. We're gonna need some um, berries to feed the... Yeah, I'm also gonna make a feeding trough when we get back to base. So we can start feeding all our herbivores. And luckily, berries don't spoil that quickly. Well, now that we have our new Iguanodon, I will check its stats out when we get to base. But I'll also bring you guys back when we get to base, so this video is not too long. So, see you guys at base. A couple Carno kills later, and we are arriving at base. We're going to start to breed our new Wantons together. Well, my reason not new. Why is that Bronto? Okay, the Bronto is like glitching out. He's probably going to drown soon, to be honest. But, let's get over here. Come on. Okay, there. The Wantons is here. Man, this Wanton almost died so many times. It almost died to the Therizino when we were leaving. We had to fight three Carnos. I did get this nice new hatchet from one of them, which I will obviously take. And I ended up having to break a lot of trees on the way because turns out Quandons are pretty clumsy if they don't have a clear path to get to where they need to go. So we're just going to line up this Quandon here. And we'll put Ivory right next to her. We're gonna get started on the start of our new army. I mean, the Iguanon army will be really cool. I like this Iguanon scores. Let's take a look at the stats. 700 is not bad. I'm, the only problem is I'm not exactly sure what ivory stats were. But when we breed, we either know, when we start breathing, we'll figure it out. Because if we get something higher or lower than 700, then we know it's ivory stats and we can determine which one is better all i know for certain is that I'm pretty sure that the um stamina on this Iguanodon is better if not the exact same as ivory i'm not sure this one was a 55 ivory was like a 70 so i don't know they're pretty close on levels but We'll start breeding these two to start getting eggs. And that brings up my second thing that we have to do. We need to make a feeding trough and we need to make some torches to, to actually hatch the eggs. So, let's unlock the feeding trough. Let's 
grab some things out of the smithy. We're gonna need more wood for sure. We do need some raw metal. Is all the metal done cooking? No, I think we just ran out of thatch. I'm gonna go get some wood and then we can start putting all the berries in from Ivan into the feeding trough. Which I will be keeping outside of the base. So let's crack one of those up. And let's place it down by Mike. Mike usually eats a lot of berries because he's always he's the tank of the group. He's he's gotta stay healthy, gotta stay plump for the tank. And there we go, feeding trough. Nice. So I'm gonna come over here to Ivory, grab everything. And we're just gonna put it in here. All of it, all the berries. Very nice. They're gonna start getting eaten really quickly, as you can see here. Like none of my guys have eaten in so long, and I feel bad. But I guess I just never got around. We never had that much metal to spare. But after the previous meat run we went on, with Krogan. So let's put that in there. Put the mushroom in here, although I'm pretty sure it's not gonna spoil. And let's put all our resources away. Although we are gonna make saddles at some point for all of the um, iguanodons that are gonna be hatched. The second question is, what am I gonna need exactly to raise up these iguanodons? Cause I know imprint wise, we're gonna want them to either ask for a berry, cuddle, or a walk. Something like that. The real problem is, how, how do I hatch this? It says it's too cold. So, the more specific question is, how hot does it need to be to hatch it? We can try with the house buff. I close the door. Yeah, we have a house buff. Still too cold, like I expected. Next thing we can try is turning the furnaces on. This is definitely an option. If it works, we can just keep the furnaces on. Or, are they called? No, forges, forges. Yeah, that works. And we got our little baby iguanodon, a 102? Sheesh. That's a pretty good level. Even though, I know. So, yeah, it has, I it has Ivory's health. It has 500 stamina, which we know is the best. 472 weight. 273 melee. So we're gonna take you outside. We're gonna compare you to your parents' stats. Come on. Tell me a little bit. We have gone on. Come on. Um. I might have to like break one of these walls. Or change that to like a double door. Because baby creatures are gonna have such a hard time getting out. Yeah, let's just destroy the door frame for now and I'll change that to a double door so that way things can get out much easier. Come on now. Can you can you get out of there? Or are you like stuck? Is Cluck in your way? Cluck. Sorry, Cluck. I, I didn't mean it. Now can you go? Yeah, Cluck was trapping you. So man, can we just talk about how cute baby iguanons are? They're amazing. You have 258 melee. You have 273, which means you have Ivory's melee, which must have been better. 472 weight. 472 weight. If I, I don't know whose was better, but so far you have the good health, the good stamina, and the good melee. Weight isn't that much of a problem. I just am kind of curious what the good amount is. So let's go ahead and claim you. Um, you have 465 weight, which means 472 is the good weight, meaning this Aguandon's weight is better than Ivory's. So you have all of the good stats I'm looking for. So you are now our perfect female, which is amazing. On the first egg, a perfect female. So now we just have to find a male Iguanodon with the exact same stats, and then these two can breed us our Iguanodon army. This Iguanodon, I, I, I don't wanna, I don't feel like doing anything mean to these Iguanodons. So what I'm gonna do 
there's any wand on that's not perfect. I'm going to take it and we're just gonna let it grow up in the wild, you know? I don't feel like murdering any babies, so we're just gonna see. Let's make sure you have a good amount of food. Uh, that could be better. Let's get you feeded. Okay, right there. You should be fine. You can harvest your own food. But you will now be unclaimed. Oh, also, just so you don't die, I'm gonna put you on passive fully so you can run away because you're just a baby and I want you fighting back and you my friend can just go into the wild run oh you need to be on um, wander I don't think hopefully um hopefully you don't die but if you do oh well such is life Goodbye, baby. Go on, on. Have a good life. Or you know what? I'll come, come back here. I'm gonna take you off of wandering. We're gonna. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let all of the ones. We're just gonna bring them over here. Keep them on passive. And then once we have our perfect female and our perfect male, I'm gonna take all of the iguanons that were not that didn't have the perfect stats. And see what the iguanons were capable of. We're gonna try and fight something. I don't wanna fight something too hard, but it can be like a pre army while we're waiting for the army to raise up, you know? You are a male, that's good. You have the good health, good stamp, good weight, good melee. No, you do not have the good weight. How much melee do you have? 273. Is that the good melee? Yeah, that's the good melee. You don't have the good weight. But you know what? I think that's fine. We're gonna name you... What we're gonna do is... We're, we're just gonna keep you for now. And we're just gonna... If we don't get anything better by the time you grow up, we'll breed you with the perfect female. And then there'll be a 50-50 chance of us getting a male with the good weight and then once we get that that'll be our perfect male so we'll still let you grow up and not put you over there i mean we could just add them to the iguandon army we don't have to do anything bad to them like, they're still iguandons they don't have to be perfect so you're gonna come over here and i'm not gonna let you die i'm not in the future we might have to do that to some creatures but such is the circle of life. Um, so yeah, mating rates are pretty decent. Growing up rates are, they're pretty fast. I feel like um, making them, make it so they take even longer to grow up, but I like it this way, because as I said, I like hunting for mutations, but I don't like it being super OP. If you didn't know, my favorite creature in Ark is the Shadow Me. So, I did mutations with them on Genesis Part 2. It first came out, and it was really fun. I got some teal ones, and I got some bright red ones. And I got a perfect male that was bright, that was bright red, and then the perfect female was teal. So then half of my army was one, and half of it was the other, and it's pretty cool. And one of them was a green, I remember. I don't know, I just love shadow meats. Lions are really cool animals, so. And also those furnaces being on is cooking up our last of the metal that did not get smelted. You don't have the, you're a female. We, we, you can, no, no, I don't, I don't want you. I want this Iguanodon, no, this Iguanodon to follow me and we're going to bring you to the wide open with this other Iguanodon. You want an imprint in two minutes. I'll, I'll try and imprint as many of them as we can besides the breeders. So that way we can keep track of the base staffs because imprinting does raise some of the staffs. 
Looks like the furnaces have ran out. Uh, I'll just take all, take all. We gotta put this stuff away, anyways. Um, chuck that in there. And we gotta get this. Let's get that going. And we'll add the charcoal to here. Get some more gunpowder. But we're out of spark powder. I'm gonna have to make some soon. Wait, can I make more narcotics now? I just keep meat in here so when it spoils, it's easy narcotic every so often. Just go there, press it, boom, narcotics. And man, I cannot stress how useful it was getting that torch blueprint. This thing, I've used it for like two nights. I just had it out the whole night for like two nights. And it still hasn't broken, which is amazing because I can just use it tons without having to repair it. It wasn't even that expensive. So now you can both feel it, even though one of you has no metal. We're still gonna look for a perfect male. Hopefully we can get one that has like all the other colors. Cause I mean, if you have an army of a creature and they all look the same, it's pretty cool, but I like everything having like a different sense to it. Okay, I think we have another one with the perfect stats. I keep forgetting what the perfect weight is. It's 472, so no. you you. You will come over here, away from the breeders, because you're not a perfect female. But you're close. Is it funny that all of the perfect... All of the per... All the ones that are close to perfect are orange, and then all the other ones have been white. So weird. I'm not going to cuddle with you. I'm sorry. You're our breeder. You're very important. And then we're just going to wait for these guys to, um... Breed... One thing I do have to say though is that once everything here has been done and we have the army, I'm not gonna go straight to like taming stronger things because we have an army. I'll start off small still. Still wanna stay in a good progression rate. I wanna get a stego soon. Start going for dodix and inkies and stuff like that. But I'll wait for these guys to grow up, see if we get any perfect males and I'll bring you back when we have a either perfect a new perfect male or we get one out of the eggs so I'll bring you guys back when that happens just hatched these 30 little babies here and just by the way it's the middle of the night it's becoming morning but this will go on on that we had that didn't have the weight stat it grew up so I started breeding it with the perfect female and finally, this is the fourth egg. I just hatched up these three and I hatched one more before. This, one of these males, I'm not exactly sure. It's the 104, the one that's leaving right now. This one has the perfect stats. So he will be our perfect male. And in between episodes, I'll raise up a army of fully imprinted um, iguanodons that we can combine with the rest of the iguanodons that we're not that didn't have the perfect stats, we can go do some cool things with them. So I'm gonna leave you here. By the way, I also changed this to a double door, which is pretty convenient now. I mean, now dinosaurs can easily get in and out of the base of their babies. So I've just been keeping them over here. This is where I'm gonna take the thumbnail photo. But we've had I think four white ones now and four orange ones. So once all of them are fully grown up, um, I'll take the thumbnail shot. It'll look pretty cool. But we'll let the perfect uh, male grow up. Once he's done growing up, we'll just breed him with the perfect female. And I'll do that in between episodes. But I'll just get, I'm not gonna raise him up since we already have tons of iguanons. But I'm just going to get a bunch of eggs that have the perfect stats. So in case anything goes wrong, we have an army of um, perfect stat um, Anquandons, which will be very nice. But I think it's about that time, guys. I think it's time I end the episode. We did a lot today. Some bad things did happen. It's a shame we didn't get that red Anquandon, but in the end, look at this. 
we have an army of iguanodons. I, I never thought I would have done this in a vanilla world. <laughs> My first thought when I get an iguanodon in a vanilla world is not to create an army. I do that with raptors, direwolves, shadow manes, stuff like that. Aloes, not iguanodons, but whatever. We're gonna play the cards we've been dealt, and this is what's going on. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like, and the next one should be coming out pretty soon. I try and play close to every other day. I try and upload with my uploading schedule. I try to make it every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, but some things happened recently, so I wasn't able to do that, but starting soon. There should be videos coming out three times a week, hopefully, but don't count on it because things might happen. But without further ado, I think it's time we end the episode. So say goodbye to our monkey, which I never really got to check out, but he's pretty cool. Just makes a lot of noises. But if you like the video, consider subscribing to my channel, leaving a like, checking out my other videos. They all help. I'm starting from humble beginnings. It'd be nice if you left a like. But without that, I'll see you guys next episode where we will try out our Iguanon army and probably fight some alphas and stuff. So, without further ado, see ya.